मदीयृदयाकाशे सदानंदमयो गुरु उदे तो सतत सम्यक अज्ञान तिमिरारुण हरि हरि ओम तस् जय गुरु we shall have three times chorus recitation of omkara take your pose for it interlock your fingers and put them on your lap sit comfortably erect close your eyes open the mouth and heart and join me <clears throat> let the mind expand to cover the entire globe our recitation think in your mind should spread the whole of the universe unleashing its benedictory vibrations and influence so that all the beings in the world will be peaceful happy and contented <sighs> oh oh, oh. Did you all think about nasato vidyade bhavo na bhavo vidyade sada ubhayo ravi drishto ondaha tu anayo sattva darshi bihi maya tadam idam sarvam jagad avyakta murti na matsthani sarva bhutani na cha aham teshva vasthidaha na cha matsthani bhutani pashyame yoga maishwaram भूतभृन्न चूतस्थ ममात्मा भूतभावना मैया तदमीद जगदव्यक्तमूर्तिना मस्थूता न चाहम तेस्वस्थि न च मस्था भूता पश्य मे योग मईश्वर भूतभृन्न चूतस्थ ममात्मा भूत भावना I stopped at a place where nasato vidyade bhavo na bhavo vidyade sada ubhayor api drishto ondaha tu anayo tattva darshi bihi Krishna quoted tattva darshi is to say that the difference between sat and asat has been ascertained by them Unreal will never come into a state of expression or visibility perceptibility and the real will never go out of expression so the real will always be and the unreal can never be so what is there is only real but when we apply the test of reality to the world including our body we find it does not answer the test because the real will be changeless it has to be uniformly present in the past present and future is there anything in this world which is ever so so what is this world it is asat if it is asat it cannot be present at the same time it is present so what are we to understand about this world that is where we stopped now i am coming to the ninth chapter in which krishna 
assumes the role of the supreme reality and he starts speaking in the entire dialogue i want you to understand as bold people not timid people krishna is no god at all krishna was just a human he was driving the horses of arjuna and what krishna had arjuna had you and i have one body one mind one intelligence one ego and that supreme presence beyond this tell me whether you accept this proposition or not now you should not come and say that krishna was this was and what was the position from which krishna was asked to talk to arjuna as a teacher you are my guru and i am your disciple so it is a guru shishya dialogue krishna has no other position in it his idea was to enlighten to illumine arjuna who was confused so the whole confusion and misery they were resting upon two factors two constituents one is the emotional mind and there is the rational intelligence so far as the mind is concerned it was suffering from untold grief so the grief should be replaced by joy contentment so far as intelligence is concerned it should be freed from doubts and indecisions it must have clarity and enlightenment do you understand this or not ha huh? you should not bring any extraneous factors into the discussion all the extraneous factors are there and we will simply score them out we are interested only in treating the grief stricken mind of man and the doubt and indecision stricken intelligence of man and bhagavad gita tackles them handles them resolves them and the whole intention is to enrich empower and enlighten the human personality what enrich means it gets enriched by knowledge then empower means along with that enrichment it also has the power to power to take up any interaction and pursue it successfully and effectively and beyond everything a man gets enlightened about whatever he is to be enlightened about sarvam karmakhilam partha jnane parisamapyade sai krishna all the activities and interactions in this world have their climax and fulfillment in knowledge so when you become enlightened that is the end of human life outcome of human life the crowning glory of human life you may have the whole of earth converted into gold and you are the sole possessor of it you will never have fulfillment you have a big family all endearing members you will never have fulfillment when you leave them and go it is very miserable to leave such a family so let us be very clear now i am catching the thread and coming here मया तदमिदम सर्व जगदव्यक्तमूर्तिना मस्थानि सर्वभूतानि न चाहम ते स्वबस्तिदह एज अ ह्यूमन बीइंग बॉर्न टू देवगी ब्रेड बाय यशोदा कृष्णा इज टॉकिंग ही डस नॉट टॉक विद एनी सुपरनेचुरल एनीथिंग ही टॉक्स लाइक अ ह्यूमन बीइंग वी वांट ह्यूमन वर्ड्स टू टीच द ह्यूमन डिसाइन we want the human realization of god we don't want god in a godly manner even when the vishrupa was shown krishna said with your human eyes you cannot see it why should we have such a vishrupa suppose a child is born to you that child you cannot see with your human eyes is there any use of that child so even vishrupa you cannot see with your human eyes so i give you divine vision what is this and the divine vision has taken away also and arjuna is left with his human eyes and no vishrupa do you understand no so he says <coughs> i have got i have got a visible gross form that is the body i have an invisible subtle form that subtle form is not yet distinct before the senses 
so there is a spiritual presence which he referred to as natve vaham jaduna samnatvam neme janadipa i was never born there was no time when i was not i am not i will not be the same applies to you bhishma drona and all others including those who are here in this vijnana bhavan hall so that inner presence is not limited by the body it is avyakta murti that impersonal invisible body so to say that we have and in that by that i have pervaded the whole universe in other words the non body non bodily personality of yours is such that it has got a universal permeation how many times shall i repeat this sentence the invisible the invisible spiritual presence in your body which animates the body and activates the body which you refer to as the i it is not limited circumscribed or constricted by the body like space it is permeational it pervades and it pervades the whole world if it pervades the whole world matsthani sarvabhutani all the beings are all the beings are in hearing in that where are all the planets in hearing in space and the space is seemingly nothing that is why the planets are in hearing in the space in the same manner in my inward presence in my inward personality or i am permeating and that permeational presence is the source and support why is it coming is the source and support for all the being sarvabhutani nachaham teshvavasthidah i am not in the same manner in hearing in any one of them they are all abiding in me but i am not abiding in any one of them suppose i am abiding in any one of them if one dies i must die so the universal presence never dies but all that exists in the universal presence they die are you able to understand ha huh? you will say no very easy to say are why should you not see if a planet is burst it is it goes off do you think space will be affected and that will also go away all the planets are existing in space but the space is not existing in planets so all the beings are existing in my self presence but the self is not abiding in anything it is independently there whether the planets are there or not the space would be there similarly my inner presence will always be all the beings are appearing on them on it and when the, they go i don't go so they are existing in me i am not existing in them is it clear clear please lift your hands if it is not clear Now the next point is the most intriguing statement nachamasthani bhutani pashyame yogama ishwaram Arjuna I don't stop my statement I reveal the truth no being is ever present in me no be pashyame yogama ishwaram see the wonderful divinity in me the self is so divine it is so spiritual it is so transcendental that it can bring about this and a lot more of magic matsthani sarvabhutani najamatsthani bhutani 
no bhuta or all bhutas are not in me pashyame yogam aishwaram this is my divine grandeur divine grandeur it is not a material grandeur it is not a gross grandeur it is not say three quarters of the earth three quarters of the earth are covered by water the earth is round and the water is spreading there is it not so if water is spreading in a round surface it should be flowing but it remains there you don't understand what i say ha huh? see the water is not flat the earth is round therefore water also but every day everywhere it remains as if it is on the plane what is that canal called uh, suez canal na no? suez canal in the suez canal which are the two seas on both sides anybody knows mediterranean and see there are two seas it was originally land and the land was not very long it was reasonably narrow on this side was sea a and on the other side was sea b there was a level difference between the two what there was a level difference between the two i would like you to put it into your head please understand it now they wanted to interconnect suppose it was interconnected and left open what would have been the position can you imagine the entire water from the higher level will flow to pure baba we cannot imagine what would have been the eventuality so the canal was made after making it they divided it into a few parts and the ship will come the captain will go away a new captain to take the ship across the canal will take charge and first they will open a sluice gate and the ship will enter number 1 the sluice gate behind will be closed and then the front gate will be open and then it will go so the water from the one and two gates alone will flow to the other one so the water flow will be very marginal am i explaining it properly like that the front gate will be open the back gate will will close like that like that like that the captain takes the ship across and he gives a charge to, gives the the, the 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 captain in charge now this was a man made canal because it was a man made canal can you imagine what we have done this is what i tell you is it not a wonder then in a global surface water is remaining flat and everywhere it is flat though it is round and the sea doesn't flow 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 it just remains is it not a wonder it is not is it not a divine wonder if this much of wonder is right in front of us what should be the extent of real wonder in the original source so he says najamastani bhutani pashyame yogam ishwaram you feel that there is an earth there are surrounding planets all of them are floating in the space everything is moving moving in great speed what is the velocity of the earth i think it will be something like 25000 kilometers or so so much is the velocity of the earth are we knowing it ha huh? we are all on the surface of the earth and it's spinning 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 and we remain as if nothing is happening we complain that sometimes there is no wind movement though <laughs> the earth is revolving at 25000 kilometers velocity we are saying there is no wind and we want a fan this is it it's a wonder great wonder now here the point i want to emphasize is nachamasthani bhutani the beings are not in me that means 
the entire world is not there how do you understand this mystic statement after all krishna is speaking arjuna is hearing he should understand a swami is speaking you have to understand that is why we have wakefulness dream and see what wakefulness dream and sleep don't think that wakefulness is the only state we have as we have the wakeful state we also have the dream states equally we have the sleep now the wakefulness and sleep are very common and regular dream is an erratic irregular state every day we are wakeful for 17 hours at the end of 17 hours at one point of time the entire wakeful world is erased by our mind and you go to sleep what happens to all the impressions and where have you gone where where is the mind inside the body and where has it gone it should be inside the body sleep is inside so in the sleep you will find 17 hours of things which are existing 17 hours presence it is totally invalidated for 7 hours both the wakeful state i don't know whether you understand what i say ha huh? the wakeful state and the sleep state are built on you 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 i am not speaking about anybody else it is your waking state it rests upon you it is your sleep it rests upon you does it rest upon the body or does it rest upon the inside inside so 17 hours wakeful grossness and 7 hours everything is wiped off even existence is wiped off for <coughs> Seven by twenty-fourth, wiped off. For seven by twenty-fourth, it is wiped off. Even it is wiped off for one minute, it loses its reality. So, is the wakefulness real or unreal? You cannot say unreal because it is present and we experience it. It is not real. Yes. then it does not stop there we are experiencing it it is negative can there be a phenomenon which is present at the same time which is totally wiped off when you write something on the board and wipe off what is written what happens only what you write is wiped off but the board remains is it not no example is perfect no example is perfect but it will help you to understand you know why i am looking at men i believe they understand more than the women now you have to tell me that we are equally compatible and we also understand then i will tell to us because you are all dull people you don't believe the power that you have i always say a woman is man plus but a man is woman minus because it is the woman who gives birth to man so if he has intelligence unless she has it how can she deliver a child so you are all more intelligent than men india's salvation is when women will start occupying the seats of power in india they must these men will never be all right never be all right if there is a salvation it is only in the hands of women rama was nobody except with sita rama had lakshmana and a huge vanara army sita had nobody suppose with all the trouble rama went to lanka to find that she has changed sides what would have been the position when she was asked to enter fire 
I don't know whether what you will do. Can you enter and will you enter? But you are all women. She never doubted. Push! I think Rama was finding it very risky because he doesn't know. He sees only a faith. But Sita knew it was her own life. So these things you should understand. So what I would like you to know is that the dream, the dream, everything is created inside. There is no external relationship at all. So in the sleep, in the sleep you slip into dream. And in the dream you have a parallel world, parallel objects. Everything is there. You have a new body. The wakeful body is lying asleep and you travel to Washington. You travel to Denmark. Sometimes you get hungry. You go to a hotel, eat and you are full. Suddenly the dream wakes up to find that the waking food is still undigested in the stomach. So you tell me with which body did you go? And where was the hunger? And which food did you take? If the waking articles have a waking state value, dream articles have a dream state value. The wakeful food was not able to appease the dream hunger. So how do you give full importance to the wakeful state? It is valid only for 17 hours. For 7 hours it is nowhere there. Something that is present for 17 hours and subsequently not present for 7 hours, will you believe? Will you accept a child who will be with you only for 17 hours and not for? So we want the consistency. So in the dream, every object grows. Everything. It is all created by the mind. Created by consciousness. All the objects are there. All the objects are in the mind. But the mind is not in any of the objects. So much so, when you wake up, the dream vanishes, but the dreamer remains. Not clear? Huh? Now, again one consideration. The dream objects disappeared, the dreamer remained. Was the dream a fact true? Huh? Inside your body, was there space for so many objects to be made? Could there be a Washington within your body? Could you have another body within this body, physical body? Then how is it that all these are made? They are purely illusory and notional. What? That is how we find this world notional and illusory. We care and toughens for it. The knower of truth whether it is Himalayas, Atlantic Sea or the Bay of Bengal or a number of stars twinkling in the sky. Everything he understands to be a creation of his own self. All of them are existing in his understanding, in his awareness, in his mind. When I see an object, what is the source of the object? Where is it in here? Boli and Athoda. Can you physically be present inside my body, on my mind? But still, all of you are imprinted by my mind. My mind is seemingly within the body, but in reality it is far extensive. It can see a mustard and imprint it. It can see a mountain and equally imprint it. It can see the stars and also imprint them. So what is the dimension of the mind? Somebody asking me, somebody asked me yesterday that soul dimension. This is the soul dimension. It is infinite in every way. Infinite in every way. Infinitely resourceful. Infinitely resourceful. Infinitely potent. So, Nachamastani Bhutani 
పశ్యమే యోగమైశ్వరం దిస్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఈస్ మెన్ బై నాసతో విద్యదే భావో నా భావో విద్యదే సదహ ఉభయోరపి దృష్టోందహాతు అనయో తత్వదర్శి నాసతో విద్యదే భావో నా భావో విద్యదే సదహ అప్లై దీస్ టు టెనెట్స్ అసత్ నెవర్ కమ్స్ టు బీ అండ్ సత్ నెవర్ సీసెస్ టు బీ సో ఈస్ ద వర్ల్డ్ ఎ సత్ no is it an asat no then what is it that is why shankara sings in viveka chudamani at least hear this verse so, i hope i will remember it sanna apya sanna apyu bhayatmikano bhinna apya bhinya apyu bhayatmikano sanga apya ranga apyu bhayatmikano mahadbhuda anirvajaniya roopa మహాద్భుత మ్యాగ్నిఫిసెంట్లీ వండర్ఫుల్ అనిర్వచనీయ రూప ఇన్ డిస్క్రైబబుల్ సో ఇన్ అవర్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ఇన్ అవర్ పర్సెప్షన్స్ ఇన్ అవర్ ఇంట్రాక్షన్స్ దేర్ ఈస్ ఎ కేటగరీ కాల్డ్ ఇన్ డిస్క్రైబబుల్ ఎక్సిస్టెన్స్ వాట్ వీ సీ ఎవరీథింగ్ విత్ ద సెన్సెస్ వెన్ వీ ఎగ్జామిన్ వెన్ వీ ఎగ్జామిన్ విత్ ద ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ వీ ఫైండ్ నన్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ హ్యాస్ ఎ రైట్ టు బీ so it is indescribable sanna apya sanna apyu bhayatmikano bhinna apya bhinna apyu bhayatmikano sanga apya nanga apyu bhayatmikano mahadbhuda anirvajaniya roopa this is it. so you know what we say wonder when vishwarupa was shown arjuna was afraid there were some siddhas they also happen to see sarve namasyanti ca siddha sangha all of them only prostrated before it they were never they never got afraid now i am wondering if you were also present there which category will you belong to arjuna or the siddhas Vishwarupa, Krishna showed. What is there? Why should Krishna show the Vishwarupa? A static Vishwarupa is there right here. Whose Rupa is this? Your grandfather's. This earth, the surrounding planets, so many things. And where are they? Tell me what is the base and support? Huh? What? What? where is the eye <laughs> it is nowhere supported it is supported by nothing the universe as a whole is not resting on anything how can the universe rest on anything every object in this universe is moving but the universe as a whole does it move huh where will it move so it is incomprehensible my dear souls that incomprehensibility is the real nature of everything in this world incomprehensibility you can apply you cannot apply any of the standard see if any article is there it has to be placed somewhere so ultimately as i asked you where are you seated on the floor where is the floor on the building where is the building in the panchayat where is the panchayat in the district where is the district in the state where is the state in india where is in india in the continent of asia and where is asia in the earth and where is earth all around the earth what is there earth is such a huge mass can it be supported by nothing but it is supported by nothing if there is an article which is supported and resting upon nothing do you call it something or do you call it an indescribable proposition that is what the world is 
he continues the discussion avinashi tu tadvidhi yena sarvamidam tatam vinasham avyayasya asya na kashchit kartu marhadi now he is applying it to the fight to the fight avinashi tu tadvidhi yena sarvamidam tatam second chapter 17th verse see arjuna you are in the chariot you are going to get up take back your weapons and you are going to fight understand very clearly that as i told you i am a presence which was ever which will be ever and no killing no death nothing can apply so the question of what is taking place avinashitu tadvidhi yena sarvam idam tad however much you may fight and however however many dead bodies may fall hit by your arrows understand that the presence in the body is never affected it is avinash whatever is permeating in every body and in the whole universe know it to be indestructible avinashi that which is present everywhere that which permeates everything vinasham avyayasyasya na kashchit kartu marhadi nobody will be able to bring about destruction to this all permeating presence sun lete hain aap are you hearing i don't see nobody will be able to bring destruction to this inlying presence shankara says ishwaraha abhi even god cannot destroy it that is why god is afraid of us <laughs> i always say when god comes and stands before me i am closing my eyes god will have to say swami ji please see i have come will you please open your eyes and see me i will say no poor god will have to go back and see him by what do you think of god it is a conjecture of the human mind at least we see the world but god we never see so it is a concoction by us vinasham avyayasya asya na kashchit kartu marhadi even god will not be able to destroy as that resplendent yang shankara ishwaraha abhi kartum na arhadi what do you say about it? this presence nobody can destroy nobody can condition nobody can affect it is a self subsisting presence it is a self inhering presence it can never be absent because it is not present from one point of time if it was present at one point of time then it is absent before that so it is ever present ever present ever present and that presence is bringing about the jugglery of creation as the sleeping man brings about the jugglery of dream vinasham avyayasya asya na kashchit kartu marhadi therefore arjuna don't ask me why should i fight i am asking your body to fight other bodies i am not asking your soul to fight another soul and what is this body as it is born it has also to die all the people here are kshatriyas varyas varyas they are not supposed to die lying on their bed they are not supposed to die and in a moment of recreation they are supposed to come to the battlefield fight and then die if at all or win their cause and go back antavanta ime deha nityasyokta sharirinah these bodies are antavanta say antavanta these bodies have an end they are endfuls these bodies are 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 manifested by the soul manifested by the soul everything is born 
and after birth it grows then it declines then it dies so far as a kshatriya is concerned as a brahmin will be lying perhaps while he is meditating and contemplating in the same manner a kshatriya will his body will fall fighting a moral war upon the earth the brahmin dropping his body in meditative slumber and the kshatriya for dropping his body in the midst of thick and thin of fighting both are the same there is no difference anashino aprameyasya tasmad yudhyasva bharata i am asking your body to fight other bodies and these bodies are enfuls enfuls and these bodies are inhabited by nityasya sharirinah anashinah apramayasya these are all adjectives of the soul it is dwelling in the body it is eternal and ever present it has no destruction it cannot be measured therefore arjuna you fight understanding that the fight is only in the bodily level not in the soul level when you fight like this i administer a caution for you what is that caution yayenam vetihantaram yaschainam manyadehadam ubhautau navijanido nayam hantina hanyade never think that the soul in you fights and kills never think that the soul in another is killed and fought hmm 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 see the perception the perception is the body is fighting but not the soul the moment you feel the soul is fighting and the soul is killed both of them do not know the truth in english there is a poem if the red if the red slayer thinks he slays or the slain thinks he is slain they know not well the subtle ways i keep and pass and turn again see the soul never fights the soul never kills the soul is never killed just like all the other men are doing their respective work in their respective fields here also fighters fight and fighters are fighting not non fighters every fighter has come here with an individual resolve to fight kill the opponent or get killed by him nobody should return from the battlefield without getting killed and without winning it is just like two cricket teams playing two football teams playing no difference at all but this is an actual fight of killing that's all and then he says na jayade mriyade va kadajid nayam bhutva भूय अजो निश्वदोयम पुराणो न हन्यदे हन्यमाने शरीरे नौ दी श्लोका सार अडाप्टेशन फ्रम कठोपनिषद कठोपनिषद सेज हंता चेन्मे हंधु हदश्चेन्मे हतम उभौत न विजानीद नायम हंति न हन्यदे हियर द फस्ट हाफ इज चेंज अजो नि शाश्वतोयम पुराणो न हन्यदे हन्यमाने शरीरे i think you should go on chanting this verse 10000 times stop all work or along with the work you go on chanting have if necessary how many mobiles half a dozen let them go on chanting from all sides na jayade mriyade va kadajid 
अजो नि शाश्वत पुराणो नहन्यते हन्यमाने शरीरे नहन्यते हन्यमाने शरीरे ah what a beautiful you know this is a song about your soul about the i in you who will sing it to you no mother has sung it to us she has some other songs film songs perhaps no father no teacher it is only the scriptures that sing this truth before you na jayade mriyade va kadajid nayam bhutva bhavita va nabhuya na jayade it never it never gets born mriyade va nor will it die nor does it die kadajid any time मोस्ट probably when you give some water unless the man is conscious it will go to the body the dying man will never nayam bhutva bhavita va nabhuya everyone is ajaha unborn nitya eternal shashvatah changeless puranah most ancient na hanyate hanyamane sharire when the body is slain it is not slain at all now these are the adjectives the qualities of the soul my dear soul these are the qualities why don't you sing them learn them you should tell every one of your family members what if at all i am going to die please switch on my what is that mobile and play this tune to me na jayade mriya deva some of the cardiologists heart specialists and surgeons tell me when a heart operation is done and the patient is recovering the best will be for you to take to yoga and gita yoga and gita now this is also an adaptation from katopanishad veda vinashinam nityam yaye namajam avyayam katham sapurusha partha kam ghatayati handikam veda vinashinam nityam yaye namajam avyayam he is using a word enam you know enam means this are you attentive i don't think enam means this they are not using the word that this what is that this in line presence the presence that is in you this this soul veda avinashinam nityam yaye namajam avyayam whoever knows this to be avinashi indestructible nityam eternal ajam unborn avyayam undecaying whenever somebody has known in this manner katham sapurusha partha kam ghataye dihandigam how can he kill anybody or ask anybody to kill you cannot say krishna has persuaded arjuna to fight and kill such a charge does not stand nor arjuna killed others that also is not true. the actions are done by the body the soul is an inner presence filling everywhere every action is in the way of a movement or a vibration shall i stand up 
every action is a movement ha huh? do you think of an action without any movement or vibration now what is the soul it is present everywhere everything within the universe moves does the universe move no similarly everything in you moves but the soul on which all things are there that does not move if movement is impossible for the soul can there be action for it why are you keeping quiet if movement and vibration are impossible in the context of the soul can you hold the soul to be acting so is it acting or non acting if it is non acting how can you say x killed and why prompted him to kill so the thought the thought and consideration of any action in this world by its very nature is a fallacy it is fictitious body may have acted what of it to me are you the body and the soul can never act now i will conclude this portion by referring to the shloka in kathopanishad our young najigedas went to yama and wanted him to teach him what is this at the time of death is there anything surviving in a person or everything is gone you are in charge of death and you must be keeping all the people who have died so please open the store room and show me whether all these people who have died have you brought them here are they under your custody or death is all over there nothing else is there yama to some extent got terrified baba my store room will have to be open i have neither a store room nor anybody there so i will have to disclose that i don't bring anybody that means yama's existence itself becomes a misnomer so he was not prepared to disclose so he gave him so many different offers saying that i will give you women dance musical instruments a large territory of the land unrivaled kingship etc please take them and spare this question he said no all the offers that you are asked saying that you will make let them remain in your own safe custody i don't want i only want an answer to this question so he was very happy and he went on saying and you know where this instruction ends you must be able to connect it eko vashi sarva bhuta antaratma ekam rupam bahudha yah karodi tamatmastham enu pashyam didhira tesham sukham shashvatam netaresham nobody will read kathopanishad and come to this all their discussion will be in the preceding areas you know what he says eko vashi eko vashi sarva bhuta antaratma sarva bhuta antaratma eko vashi eko vashi sarva bhuta antaratma sarva bhuta antaratma ekam rupam ekam rupam bahudha yah karodi bahudha yah karodi ekam rupam ekam rupam bahudha yah karodi bahudha yah karodi tamatmastham tamatmastham yenu pashyanti dhira शाश्वत ने शाश्वत netareṣaṁ do you find sweetness in this recitation are baba kitna sweet hai ego vashi 
There is only one controller called God, Ishwaraha. Sarvabhutantaratma. Sarvabhutantaratma. If you search this God anywhere else, you are a fool. You are not searching God. God can be searched only in oneself. Sarvabhutantaratma he is. There is only one controller. And he is in all the creatures inwardly. Though he is one, we were wondering as to how in the dream so many objects are there and so many objects are there in the waking also. The dream objects are made by the soul. The waking objects also are made equally by the soul. One is gross, another is subtle. That is the only difference. So, Egam Rupam. He has got a single nature. That single nature is so ineffably supreme, indescribably supreme. Bahudhaya Karodi. That single nature of his, he can make multiple and manifold. Are you understanding? I don't. If you are understanding, you will learn it. Egam Rupam Bahudhagarodhi It is the one nature that he makes many. When God created the universe, did your grandfather give him the material? Where from did he make the universe? He alone was there. So the manifoldness was also created by him from himself. Bhudhaya Karodi. After having described in this manner, now your search for him, what is it that you have to do? Tamatmastam. Atmastam tam. So his focus and locus is in your own being. Not in any other place. If you tap here, you will not get. If you tap another person, you will not get. Go and tap an elephant. Go and tap a mountain. Go and tap an idol whom you worship. Atmastam enupashyam didhiraha The wise people who see him as seated in their own heart. Tesham sukham What? Tesham sukham Sukha is for them. Shashwatam. The Sukha of a Shashwata character. Netaresham. For nobody else. Tell me what more do you want? What is India? This is India. What are the Vedas? This is the Veda. This is the Upanishad. A declaration that is thrown. Push. Bus. Nobody can challenge it. Nobody can invalidate it. Nobody can rewrite it, replace it, moderate it, renew it. Tamatmastam yenubashyan didhiraha Tesham sukham shashvatam netaresham For them alone is shashvata sukha, not for others. So why all this Upanishadik and Sankhya discussion? It is only meant to remove grief. It is only meant to bestow contentment, contentment, happiness, happiness, that inner abundance, that inner ecstasy. This is to produce that spiritual inward inundation, that flood, that flood of ecstasy. And we produce it in our mind by virtue of spiritual thoughts. Spiritual introspection, spiritual reasoning, especially infusional introspection, infusional introspection. The next source, verse is, how do you find him inside? How do you find him? He says, in the whole world there are two kinds of beings. One is called the mobile, another is called immobile. One is called the insentient, another is called the sentient. Leave the entire insentient. 
and take up the sentient. And in the sentient, this is the sentience. That which makes you alive, which makes you alive, that is the truth. So the power and presence that enliven your body, animate your body, activate your body, that presence is the truth. Tell me whether it is near or distant. And how many are there? Why should you miss him? At least in a pseudo manner you say it is in me. <laughs> it is in me. It is in me. Go and tell everybody. Do you know the supreme truth? It is in me. Do you know the supreme truth? It is in me. Go and tell people. Nityo anityanam chaitanas chaitananam It is the consciousness of the conscious beings. Ego bahunam yo vidadhati kaman Though it is single, it fulfills all the desires of all beings. Tamatmastam yenupashyandi dhira Those wise people who are able to see him in their own body, Tesham shantihi Tesham shantihi Shashwadi Nedaresham for them alone is perennial peace not for the others so how do you expect to have perennial peace for you or for your children none of them will have it you may have any extent of money any extent of property any extent of endearing relations you will not have a bit of happiness or shanti Happiness and Shanti, they belong to the soul. They belong to the inner presence. You know, happiness is an emotion. Shanti is an emotion. No emotion belongs to matter or energy. Our body is matter and energy. The entire world is Panjabhaudik, material, material, material. From the material world, that is why Hanuman, when Sita felt bad, that Sri Rama did not gift anything to Hanuman after having come back from the Ravana Yuddha, etc. She felt very bad. So she took her pearl necklace and gifted it to him. He saw very well. Nothing was there. Kuch nahi. He took it to the ear. No sound came from there. No spell. He took one of them. No taste. Simply threw it. In front of Sita. Because he want, wanted Rama Rasa, Rama Shabda, Rama smell, Rama taste. It was not there in the necklace. And she was wearing it. See? Simply threw it away. See, this is the beauty. Tesham shantihi shashwati netaresham. Happiness is an emotion. Peace is an emotion. Beatitude is an emotion. Freedom is also a realization and experience. There is no object in this world, material object or energy products. Nothing has it. They are insentient and jada, jada. Because it belongs only to the mind. So in order to have happiness, should you churn it out from your mind or should you run after elephants and camels? Huh? Churn it from your mind. He who decides to do it, the world is nothing. It is expelled the gas before it. World, gold, platinum. <laughs> Nothing. It has no value. The merchant will give you some money for the gold. Will you be happy? 
on the other hand with no material of any kind you simply close your eyes or open your eyes and churn out churn out churn out that is what ratnagara did ram 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 after some time the sound came down it was ram ram then only lip movement after that that also stopped then it was revolved in the mind ultimately after what suppose you start walking 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 after some time what will happen you tell me nobody can say you will stop similarly the chanting mind also stopped and he found the truth ba ram 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 when he chanted he did not get it when the whole process stopped so the mind had taken everything and itself it got dissolved and it can dissolve only into its very source he found the source when he came back he found the small plants had become huge trees are i remained absorbed so long covered by ant hill what is this i only chanted ram ram so this is how you hit at contentment fullness abundance and ecstasy not through money not through relations not through houses nothing nothing when you are able to say i want nothing i want nothing, nothing. see this heroism of spirituality is this it makes a man say my dear world you may dance to any extent but i am not enamored of you now this is the full bhagavad gita discussion what the bhagavad gita discussion is over from the second chapter the last point he says एषा ब्राह्मी स्थिति पार्थ नैना प्राप्य विमुह्य स्थिवासले ब्रह्म निर्वाण मृत्यु दिश ब्रह्मस्थिति यू विल नॉट वॉन्ट एनीथिंग मोर नो डेल्यूशन आफ्टर गेटिंग इट इवन वन मैन कैन एंटर इन टू इट एट द लास्ट ब्रेथ ऑफ हिज लाइफ सो सेफ एंड सो होल सम उपदेश वॉज ओवर आक्चुअली but arjuna raised a doubt therefore he clarified it and the clarification continued up to the 18th chapter in the 18th chapter also arjuna raises a question on what is tyaga and what is sanyasa though krishna was explaining it throughout the bhagavad gita still arjuna could not understand or he wanted a confirmation so he again explained it in stop now in the rest of the days i will take some verses from bhagavad gita and explain to you the next session i propose to take up the concept of yajna what yajna. what is meant by a sacrifice yajna krishna says the whole life should be a yajna for you don't do piecemeal yajnas going here going there doing this doing that transform the whole life to be a continuous yajna can it be done yes it can be done by what process by a mentor intellectual process what mentor. a process in which mind and intelligence alone are the participants constituents and the practicing agents samvedya varjita manuttama mehaka mahadyam samvitpadam vigalanam कलयन महात्मन हृदय कलनारहित क्रिया अगर्तृपदे समोदित श्री कुरवन अगर्तृपदे समोदित श्री हरि 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 ओम दस जय ओ ओ
आणि